Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we made our way into the Blood Citadel, the Fortress of the Giants. We've cleared out the upper level and it's time to head down into the lower level, where the Chieftain is located. The stairs lead spiral downwards into a lightless gloom. The King of the Giants is probably down there. Will you descend the stairs now? Yeah, mm -hmm. descend. The descent stops. You walk on the cold stone floor and take a look around you. Tapestries hang on the walls. They are mostly of giants in fantastic armor slaying some large beast or groups of smaller critters. You must be in some kind of hall into the citadel. Torches and candles on the floor light up the room and another huge grinning skull on the floor. You also hear a conversation taking place. There are at least two giants present. <laughs> Both of them are shamans. Not pleased about that. They got a lot of sh summoning out. Oh, thank you for that. There goes one shaman. The one thing I'm happy about is that shamans are easy to kill. Okay, that's those shamans dealt with. Oh, it is very gloomy in here. Ow. I do find it interesting how if you get knocked back into someone, you actually, well, end up in a situation like that. Three maulers. Jeez. Bit of healing for Sheik. <coughs> That's not good. Definite healing for Fox. Thank you. That works out. Another healing for Fox. Alright, one more to kill. And that one's just a fighter. Not a big deal. All right. They were not kidding when they said this place was dark and gloomy. Ah! There's the final hall. Oh! Hello. Didn't see that coming. Let's open this door for you at least. Ow, that's not good. Okay, you step back. Ow, very painful. How about a fireball? Still have a little at least. There goes one. Okay, that was a bit of a bother. Oh, here's the kitchen. But it's just regular giants. They die in like two hits, so they're not a big deal. There we go. That's a kitchen explored. There's a whole bunch of giants in there. Alright, end of combat. Wait, 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 wait. You do nothing. Ah, nice. Nothing. There's a mauler. Need to kill the mauler. Actually, no, do nothing. Okay, definite healing for Fox. 
There goes that guy. Little healing for Sheik. Probably should have just killed it. And no biggie. Some coins. Ooh, a haste elixir and a ring of skill. Very nice. Oh, what's this? An unidentified greatsword that is magical. Very interesting. Oh, there's a mage in here. Alright, same thing as normal. Ah, the mage went further away. That is not pleasant at all. In fact, how about a slow? Because there's several maulers in there that I do not want to deal with. There goes that mage. Good. There goes a mauler. There goes another mauler. We got this. Okay. We got a gold bracelet, which is nice. And some steel arrows. Coins with amber and a ruby. Ooh, a ceremonial dagger. That's interesting. Alright. There we go. In the combat. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, do nothing. Definite healing. Bonnie's starting to run out of spell energy, which is not pleasant. Which is not pleasant. Another healing. Nice. And do nothing. Ooh, a level up for Sheik. Nice. Okay, healing again for Fox. Now, if only we could actually level up our guys in here. I mean, it makes sense that we wouldn't be able to, but it is kind of annoying. Alright, another strength elixir, which is nice. Healing elixir, very nice. A bar of silver and steel arrows. Yeah, nothing in that box. Alright. Oh, we've got mages in there. Ah, what the hell. Enter combat. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, the mages are right there. I love it. Ooh, level ups for Fox and Draco. Awesome. And do nothing. Okay. And we've got some curing elixirs and a healing elixir. This strange machinery is illuminated by the gro glow of the three power sources behind it. It is basically just a panel with a switch on it. Four identical runes, unknown to you, glow on the floor around the panel. There's only one way to find out what the machine does, and that is to pull the switch. This looks like another arena built by the giants. Here, the brutal creatures beat each other mercilessly for their own entertainment. Looking around the arena, you realize that you could make use of it. You could practice your moves and train in the arena. That's strange. Someone has left a very useful-looking book in the arena. It contains many useful things that could help improve many of your non-physical skills. You only need to study on it and train hard. Yeah, except we can't. I get what you're going for here, but we can't train in here. It won't let us. 
Oh, there we are. Now we can. Except... Oh, we need to be in, like... There. Now we can. Except we can't. Okay, I get what you were trying to go for here, but it doesn't quite work out. Sorry, you kind of failed. All right, let's see what this lever, what this does. Pull the switch. The twirling energy on the runes turned into green mist that floated to you. It engulfed you in its warm and healing energy. You feel restored. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I never picked up that coin. Okay, there's got to be... I must have missed something up in the upper area here. Were there doors? There were not. So it looks like... Hmm. Oh, wait, there are doors. Oh, boy, there's a lot of guys in there. Enter combat. Wait, 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 wait. Three mages. I think a lightning spray can be used here. Not much against the mages, but... There we go. Beautiful. Right? Definitely healing yourself. I think another lightning spray would be a wise choice. Yeah, get rid of those ogres. Uh, heal everyone, actually. All the magic users, we're good. Right, healing for Fox. There we go. Not too shabby. Ah, there is a message carved on both of the lids of the chests. It says, A horrible death to all who take the money of the Naga. There could be a curse placed on the chest, and you can sense unholy energy floating around. Of course, it could just be from the altar next door. What do you do? Stay clear of the chests for now. Let me check the bookshelves first. An energy elixir. Yes, I like that idea. All right. A scroll catches your eye. You remove it from the shelf and roll it to open. It describes a religious ritual, all right, but what kind, you're not sure. It could be a ritual useful to you, but then again, it could be something harmful. You've managed to decipher enough of the room that you know the ritual is harmful for so to someone. Yeah, put it back. We're not going to do anything then. But those chests... Let's investigate the chests here. Proceed to open them. You cautiously open the lid. Nothing happens. There's a lot of gold in the chest. You take a few coins. Nothing happens. You take a whole pile of coins. Nothing happens. You take all the gold inside and still nothing happens. The horrible death part must have been only an empty threat. Jeweled ring and a wand of fire. Looks like this chest has already been emptied, or then there was never any money in it. Okay. Well, okay then. Oh, two of those giants. Alright, enter combat. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa! It reposts. That's interesting. Doesn't always repost, though, it seems. Alright, a fireball. Should finish that one off. There we go.
Ah, uh, that must actually be the wheel that opens up the gates. Eh, fire some arrows. Okay, that's definitely not good. Definitely healing Draco. <coughs> Very not pleased with how it's attacking Draco like that. There we go. Alright, what have we got here? We've got an emerald. Steel arrows. Okay. You grab the handle on the turning wheel and begin to turn it. The task is very straining, but eventually you are rewarded by the sound of the gates slamming open. Excellent. This seems to be where the giants bring their prisoners. All the cages are empty right now, but there is dried blood on almost every cage. In the middle of the prison, there is a rather large puddle of blood, and it's quite fresh. Okay, then. We've opened up our way into the main hall. Bonnie, I think maybe to prepare up, you should drink one of your energy potions so you have a little more energy. Same thing with you, Draco. You enter another spacious room with statues of Naga. They tower above you ominously. You can almost hear hissing telling you that you are not welcome. Piles of skull accompany the base of the statues, but these aren't ordinary skulls. The giants have painted runes on the foreheads of the skulls. The red dripping substance used for the painting can only be blood. You catch a flash of light in one of the statue's eyes. You don't feel like staying in this room. A strange hissing fills your ears. You feel very bad. Okay, I see what they meant. stayed in that room. There, they're slowing. That'll help out a lot. I was hoping that would counter things a little. Jeez, we are very weird. Okay, reloading here. Okay, since we know about that... combat. That's just a random hill giant chief, but the chief is not who I'm worried about here. You, I want you to slow all of them. Definitely need some healing here. Beautiful. There goes that chief. Ooh, he dropped an invulnerability potion. I like that. Ow, not pleased about that, though. There we go, and we've got an invulnerability elixir, an unidentified halberd, a shield ring, and a gold bracelet, and a steel large shield. Nice. And there's the hissing. Even though we're not actually in that room. Ooh, a blessed large shield. That's very valuable. I have a feeling if we just 
keep that okay. If we you hear growling from behind the door, not just the regular growling of giants, but something more sinister, something not from this world. It's the kind of voice you've heard too many times before. Let me guess. Demons? Alright, let's see what's in here. I was right. Demons and mages. Oh, this is going to suck a lot. Actually, I think... Ah, that is actually effective. Nice. Of course he healed it. Okay, there go those. Now we just need to deal with the demons. You... Actually, you could do with drinking the other energy elixir you got. Now we just need to deal with these demons, and we're good. Which I think is not going to be a big deal. Yeah, we got this. This isn't too bad. Excellent. That wasn't bad at all. This strange device is probably best left alone. There's no telling what it would do to you. Ah. Another library. These sh the shelves are filled with politics. There appears to be notes of treaties between the giant tribes, crowning of kings and their reigns, descriptions of large battles, and so forth. Since you're not a giant, the scrolls are hard to read. You doubt that reading the scrolls would be worth the trouble, so you leave them be. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna search them all. Oh, hello! There's a shaman in there. Oh! I stepped right past him, and I didn't even realize. Well, now it's dead. The shelves in the back contain different kinds of scrolls. They are about magical machinery. More accurately, the focus seems to be on a portal. The shelves are littered with sketches of portals and machinery supporting it. Next to the drawings, there is writing that is difficult to understand. A quick glimpse of it reveals that it reveals how to build a special portal and the machinery that powers it up. You don't really have time to study the scrolls. It is clear, however, that the portal is not meant for transportation, but for distortion of time. Which is exactly what we're looking for here. Oh, lightning spray scroll. Still no telling what that does to us. Alright, and this leads back out into that hall. Alright. Well, let's make the run down the hall. Strange hissing fills our ears. Alright, we made it through the hall. Oh, hello! Wait! Yeah, that was a wise choice. Huh, it shouted an alarm. Interesting. The alarm didn't seem to do anything, though. At least, not in imme immediately. Healing. There we go. And that's the end of the hall. In fact, that's the only way through. Hold on, I want more light. Alright. There's a room in there. Let me save first. Alright, let's investigate this room here. Yep, 
there's more over there. Oh, there's a lot of shamans over there. Didn't see that coming. Um, slow down all of them. Wait. Oh, crap, charmed. That's bad. Okay, remove the charm, please. Thank you. Okay, you're all very close, and I don't like that. Of course you healed. Okay, uh, do a group healing, actually. There goes the mauler. Oh, great, another charm. This is bad. Okay, the charm was removed. But I'm not pleased about the situation you're in right now. That actually helps out. I'll take that, actually. Give us a chip. Okay, and now he's going to die. That should save you. And you're dead. Okay, please hold while I reload. There was a lot in there, and I was not happy about it at all. I think once we clear this out, I'm going to have to end the episode. Okay, bit of healing. Thank you, I'm glad you're able to come in here and assist. Yep, the others are all coming now. Okay, do nothing. Oh crap, charm. I completely forgot about that. Not- Okay, that's bad. This is a very bad situation. God damn it, I did not want that. Okay, reloading again. Okay, this time I'm actually going to cast this at the beginning. Of course that happened. We've got mages we need to deal with. Focus on these guys. With assistance. Okay, definitely need to do a group healing here. Right, arrow. Excellent. we go. Make a 
get it through here. Would be nice if you would actually fire off your arrows and help out. Come on, there's targets here you can take out. Do something, Adrian. Please do something. Okay, there we go. That's all dealt with. We got an unidentified bracelet, a control foe scroll, and a lightning spray scroll. And there's another giant down here. And there's another giant over there. There's a whole bunch of giants. Jeez, I should not have gone in here before this episode ended. This episode's gonna end up going long. Thank you for actually helping, though, Adrian. A level up for Bonnie. Pity we can't actually level her up. There are so many giants in here. Two of which are mages. Okay, can you slow them all down? Take that. I just want to get rid of those freaking mages. I still can. There we go. Mage is gone. This appears to be the last of them. Okay, and that is the last of them. Okay, I'm going to save this, end this episode here because it's gone on more than long enough. Next episode, we'll look through this hall and probably finally deal with the giant king. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.